Hi guys. Just popping on tonight to say hi. Haven't done a live in a little bit, so um, just saying hello. Um, we'll wait for people to kind of get in here, but it's a Sunday night. The kids are in bed. They had a long day. I had a long day. Um, so this could be a nice little just chat sesh, relaxing chat time. <clears throat> hi, Andrea. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Liz. Hi, Meow Meow. Hi, Brent. Hi, Anna. Hi, Danielle. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Raider. Don Montgomery. Hi. Mommy Annie, hello. Pauline, hello. Allison, hello. Allison, you were just thinking of Jenny. <laughs> Me too. Me as well. She pops into my head probably a billion times a day. It's hard to count. Um, but it's nice. I've been filled with a lot of good memories as of late. Um, not the sad stuff, but just the really good stuff. Um, so that's been really nice. Um, and somebody had told me the, the farther you get away from, um, you know, her death, the more positive memories you're filled with of her and not the sad, uh, end of days memories, which I've noticed, um, I'm getting filled with a lot of happy, happy thoughts of her. So that's really good. Cal, hello. Laura, hello. Victoria, hello. Good to see you guys. Kids are doing good. I'm doing good. Um, as good as we can. Um, this is a uh, kind of a big weekend for us. I had a... Um, my... Uh, Bible study group had um, this week, part of our 10-week journey is um, having a serve day and a prayer day. And so the serve day was today, and it was at a, um, a facility for um, boys who are not in a juvenile hall, but maybe have made some mistakes along the way. And um, it was an amazing experience to, uh, we were given this section, uh, this kind of like hangout barbecue area that has been overgrown with weeds and stuff. And so all of us in our group um, pulled all the weeds, trimmed all the bushes, um, and then planted a whole bunch of new plants and it turned out beautiful. So that was a full day thing. And then we did um, solitary prayer prayer. Um, for a couple hours. Um, so I was away from my kids all day. So they were at their aunt and uncle's all day um, and they spent the night last night. So I kind of was um, just with myself last night. So I missed them a lot, but it was also nice to have some good alone time doing something positive. Amy's a pediatric nurse. Much respect. Um, I now have a very special place for nurses in my heart, always, um, after everything Jenny went through. So, yeah, much respect for your job. Linda, Kylie did such a great job on Winnie's manicure. Thank you so much. <laughs> that, was, um, that was fun. I plan to do it again and again and again and keep practicing. Um, because um, it was fun, and I saw that it made her feel good and beautiful, so it was it was fun. Um, Cindy, yeah, we had a good evening. We had a good weekend. Well, to be honest, um, you know, I felt a lot of pressure because Jenny Jenny did nails, um, and she was really good at you know, like she would really put a lot of effort into it, and. Um, she would do little designs for the kids. Like she went all out. So um, I felt a little nervous not living up to that. But 
Winnie didn't seem to care. She was just happy somebody was doing it. Uh, Lisa, if you're looking for um, P.O. Box address, we always put it in every video in the description box. So even in this one, I believe it's it's already in there. Um, just if you are on a video, look under the description box. It'll always have a P.O. Box address listed. That's our P.O. Box. So feel free to use that as you please. We always have it in there listed. Meow, meow. You can buy nail stickers and decals. Great idea. I will remember that. Nanette, Jenny was the best at everything. She truly was. Like, truly. Anything she attempted or she did, she was always very good at. That was just her. She was very good at everything. Um, <laughs> and I love her for that. JB, still taking in rocks for the garden. Absa stinking lootly. Um, if you ever want to send rocks, please send them. Um, I believe I'm uploading a video. My dogs are playing with each other if you hear them. Um, I'm uploading a video tonight um, on my kind of sleeping habits, how they're not going the best. They're like up and down. Some nights I can't sleep at all. And when... I shot one of the scenes going to check my mail. I took a shot of the rock garden. It's looking amazing. Um, so, yes, if you have any rocks to send or sticks or shells or pennies or anything you want to send, I will add it into the rock garden. It's looking pretty amazing. It's growing. It keeps growing. Nice to see you guys. Thank you for jumping on. Um, yeah, if anyone, Rachel, uh, is bringing up the story of the elderly lady. Um, if you guys do not follow my Instagram, that's totally cool. So if you do, you'll hear this story again. But there was, um, to make a long story short, the other night we were going out to celebrate my niece after her performance. And I was driving and I I'm going to turn into this driveway of the restaurant and we see this car that's just looking completely lost and confused in the middle of the intersection almost stopped but like creeping so i didn't know if they got in an accident or if they were lost or if they were out of gas or whatever very weird um anyway i helped her pull into the driveway knocked on her window she's a very elderly woman um and she got out and she didn't see any issues with her driving, but she was like bumping curbs in the parking lot. And I had to like help her into the spot. Anyway, she gets out, she parks. She's telling me that she drives all the time. And I'm thinking, mm -mm. and, um, you know, we get to chatting and she asked to hold my hand. And so she held my hand and it was such a powerful moment. Cause you know, I only hold hands now with my children and here's this very elderly woman holding my hand really tight. And I walked her to the store that she was trying to get to. I helped her. We called 911 to make sure she got home safe. And I, she asked me my name. And I said, Kyle. And then I said, what's yours? And she said, Jenny. <sighs> what? Um, it was very emotional. I felt like it was Jenny talking to me. It was some kind of sign um, that we ended up helping her. And her name ended up being Jenny. So if you didn't see that Instagram post, a pretty special, special thing. Norma, I did get a haircut. <laughs> I did. Um, I got it like probably maybe two weeks ago now. Um, so, yes, I'm not wearing a hat for once. So, there you go. Uh, Melvin, write letters to Jenny. Uh, it's a great suggestion, and I've started that. I have a journal that um, you write certain letters to your wife in heaven, and I've I've written a couple things in it. But um, yeah, it's been nice to write to her.
Hi, guys. <laughs> Missy Med, hospice for 30 years and counting. Good for you. Hospice is no joke. Um, what an amazing job, um, an amazing field to be involved in. Um, we only had a short time with our hospice team, but um, amazing people to do that kind of work. Thank you, Brenda. I feel like I'm rocking it as a dad. I really do. Sometimes I don't feel that way, but for the most part, I really do. And I know that Jenny would be proud. Hi, Lynn from Scotland. Awesome. Really want to visit there. Really do. I think I say that every time. <clears throat> Tony, thank you for saying the kids are lucky to have me. I feel lucky to have them, um, especially in this time. I can't imagine not having them and just being alone. It's so special that um, Jenny gave me those beautiful kids. Allison, I love my two kids too. <laughs> they are very much bright lights through anything that I'm going through. Um, they are great. April, how is Huckle adjusting? Pretty darn well. Um, <laughs> he, he fits right in. Um, you want to come here and say hi? He's never ran faster in his life. Come here. So Huckle's adjusting well. Flower, I'll get, I'll get you up here in just a second. Flower wants to come say hi too. Um, yeah, he's great. He's getting big. Um, and he's such a good boy. He's so sweet. You say hi. He's a sweetie. Flower, you want to say hi? Oh. Flower's doing well. But they're friends. They're like frenemies sometimes, but they, they get along most of the time. But um, they're doing great. Uncle and Flower, they're a good combo. Um, but both dogs are doing really well. I'm so proud of them. Uh, my Instagram is in, um, I linked, I always link it in the videos as well. Jenny told me to do that. <laughs> so if you ever look at the videos uh, in the description box, you'll see email addresses, um, business stuff, PO box stuff, Instagram stuff. Um, you can still find Jenny's Instagram. I've kept it active. I don't go on it, but I've kept it active for her. So you can always look that up too. Yep. My dogs are sweet. Mom of seven. I still watch Jenny's videos. I miss her. Me too. Um, I'll watch a few here and there a day. Um, I've gotten brave enough now to play videos in the background, and sometimes I watch them. Sometimes I just have her voice in the background. Um, it's just nice to hear her talking and nice to hear her voice and pretty special. So, yeah, I, I, I feel that. Isabella, Jenny would love Huckle. She would. She really would. Um He's such a sweetie. Like, it's it's hard not to. And he's the nicest thing. Like, not a mean bone in his body. Like, he's just like flower. Like, they're the same where they just... No growling, no anger. Just pure happy. <laughs> like, 
they're great. I'm very lucky. Um, Amos, the music in the videos will remind you of Jenny. In my videos, it will. In this video I'm going to post tonight, if I can get to update uploading it, I show you why the music that I choose for the videos I do now are the exact same as the ones Jenny did because she made me a folder. Um, she made it very easy, easy for me after she passed. She taught me everything, made folders for me to where it's very easy to, to, to um, edit these videos because she set it all up for me. She's amazing. Bobby Lynn, I've never been to Disney in Florida. We have it on our uh, bucket list. It's something we definitely want to do sooner than later. Absolutely. Betsy BAF, as a fellow widowed parent, I think you're doing amazing as a parent when I know it feels impossible. It certainly does feel impossible at times. Um, but... Um, yeah, being widowed is not easy. Um, we just made a big purchase um, the other day, which I'll make a video about. But to make a long story short, um, we were finishing up the, the sale and the salesman, I had my, my two babies with me. And the salesman said, oh, you guys had to, you guys are stuck with dad while mom's at work, huh? And... Um, just kind of hurt, you know, he didn't, he didn't know. Um, so I had to say, well, we wish, uh, mommy's not with us anymore. And he just felt awful, but I mean, that's our life. And, um, it's, you know, that's the life of being a widowed parent and having, um, you know, lost your spouse. You got to address it, but it's hard. Good day, Allison. Good day. Natasha Duncan. I'm going to take a screenshot of what you sent because I won't remember. Because um, I've never heard of that. Fort Wilderness Disney Campgrounds. That sounds amazing. I will look that up. Thank you for sharing. Jen Barclay, my best friend lost her husband to cancer a year ago, and she says the hardest part is that it feels everyone has forgotten except her and the 13-year-old son. Have you experienced this? Um, that's a tough question. I do feel like that, um, you know, naturally as time goes on, months go on, people have to continue with their lives as well. And so I do think that it gets gets more so put on the on the back burner a little bit but that's you know people have their normal lives it's understandable um but yeah i do feel like it's talked about a little bit less crazy chris what's the noise dog yes the dogs are absolutely wild right now literally wild they're like going at each other, so great. That's what you're hearing. Lindsay, thank you for catching your first live. Hi, Lindsay Ann, good to see you. Wendy, yeah, I pop on here. Um, it's great that I pop online because there's more support. It's true, I pop on here because um, there's a lot of um, support here, so thank you. Elizabeth, I don't know how to do closed captioning on a live video. Um, I can look into that. Um, but I, I'm not sure how to do that. I apologize. Allison Starr, you miss Jenny. Me too. P. Joiner, yes, um, a rock garden update. In the video I'm uploading tonight, which will be after this, uh, as you guys know, I, I always get them up really super late, so it won't be till way, way late in the morning. But um, 
you see a little update of our rock garden. It is at night, so some of it's hard to see, but I wanted to show some of the um, solar lights that turn on at night. So you will get an update. Looks great. Huckle, what are you chewing? That's the one thing with puppy life, man. You just, you hear Huckle randomly chewing something and you go, uh-oh, what is it? And like nine out of 10 times, it's something he should not be chewing on. What are you chewing on? Come here. What is that? A Lego? Don't chew that, son. Don't chew that, son. You're going to get hurt. Huckle is a Corgi P joiner. Absolutely. He is a Corgi. Tori E, puppy life. puppy life is a lot. Yes, it is. But he's like, I don't want to jinx it, but he's slowly exiting some of the stuff from puppy life, which is great. I wish I knew where I left off when I lose my place, but gosh, just kind of. Just Country Girl, is Ellis enjoying his piano lessons? 100%. Um, he has a really, really sweet young piano teacher. Um, she's really nice. And he's had three lessons so far, and he's loving it. So, so far, so good. Jackie, hope you're feeling okay today. Okay. I was actually going to watch a video with Jenny and realized you were on live. Hey. <laughs> Well, you can watch it after. Um, Mar Mariana, do you see yourself adding more pets to your beautiful fam? Absolutely not. Just kidding. Um, I'm always open. I'm a sucker for animals. So, I mean, I would love another cat. I love cats. But um, Kira, our cat, is kind of like a one-cat woman. She doesn't like other cats to be anywhere near her. So, um but I never say never because, you know, if a dog were to pop up and need rescuing or, I don't know, we saw the perfect dog or something. But we're not looking um, to add anything. Glitter24, have you ever been to Sage Vegan Bistro in L.A.? We have been to the one in Pasadena. Um and that's a place that Jenny and I used to go all the time after her eye exams. Um, you guys remember that she used to go to those often. Um, and that was one of our favorite date spots, Sage Bistro. So I don't know if it's the same place, but we went to one in Pasadena. And it was great. Melissa, you live 45 minutes from Disney World. That's about as far as we live from Disneyland. Pretty great. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom now, work my way. Jesus saves. How is your support group going? Well, I did... Um, we had a service today where we went and um, took care of some people and took care of a little area and redid it and everything. So um, it was beautiful today. Love my group. I will um, gladly tell you that my group and I have already made promises to stay close even after um, our weeks are up. So we've, we all have our numbers. We text. Um, we're all really close. They're an amazing group of people. I feel truly lucky. And, um, yeah, I'm so blessed to have met them. They're amazing. Don't think about it, said, I am proud of you. You haven't made any choices in grief that have been toxic to your mind or body. Funny you should bring that up because I'm very proud of that. Um, that I am definitely steering clear of anything negative 
that could affect me, um, affect my kids, affect my body, my mind, my spirit, my faith. Um, so yeah, I agree. I, I think that's one thing I'm doing a very good, uh, draw a good job at. So thank you. Rhonda, how is work going? Work is, I would say the easiest part of my life right now. Um, very, very, you know, it's kind of, you know, it comes natural to me, the job. And then they've been very good at, at helping me adjust. And um, I got to say, that's been the, the easiest part of my life uh, lately. It's been pretty darn easy. Uh, I am Justice One. What do I teach? I teach special education for a high school. A done. How are Jenny's parents doing? They are doing okay. Good morning, Karen. I think I figured out that the UK is nine hours ahead. I think that's right. I've made a, a friend in the UK online, and I think they're nine hours ahead. We did the math. Tori, I'm drawing a family picture of you all right now. That's sweet. It's very special. Thank you. Crazy Chris, how old were you and Jenny when you guys first met? I made a video about that. If you look back to the Valentine's Day video, um, we were, I was 17. She was like 19 going on 20, like about to turn 20. JD Lady, I don't understand your question. Maybe you could rephrase it for me. Um, Deborah, I'm so glad you did a video thanking Ellis for being such a great big brother. I noticed it too. He's the best. He truly is. Um, he truly is an amazing human. I'm so lucky to have him. Maddie, do you have any contact with your dad, Kyle? I know your mom is really supportive, but don't know the story of your dad. Um, so my dad is no longer with us. Um, he died probably oof, maybe four or five years ago now. Um, I never had a relationship with my dad. Um, my mom and my dad separated when I was about three or four and he was never in my life. So, um, you know, I, I never had a relationship connection, never talked to him. Um, he just wasn't a part of my life. But my mom is very supportive. Jerry's Keeper. Oh, going to get a Jenny tattoo. I have one here. I have two. This is a ladybug here. It's kind of hard to see in this blurry camera. I have three, a little monarch butterfly. And then where's my other one? This is our hands holding. It's kind of hard to see. I think that's a total of four Jenny tattoos that I have. Cynthia, how is Jenny's sister doing? I see her almost daily, sometimes every other day, and she's doing well. I say we're in the same boat, her and I. Um, good days, bad days, good moments, bad moments, sad times, happy times. But she's doing great. Carrie Bishop, your mom did a wonderful job raising such a wonderful son. Well, thank you. I will tell her you said that. Um, thanks. Susie, i just wondering if you still want rocks for your garden. Yes, yes, please, yes, yes. If you've already sent some, send more. 
If you don't want to send any, totally fine. If you want to send something different, you can. We absolutely love it as a family, getting them from people. The neighborhood loves it. I can't tell you how many people stop in front of our house and, and just gawk at it, stare at it, ask about it. Um, it's beautiful to look at, honestly. And it just keeps growing. So if you feel so inclined and you want to, please. And if you don't, that's okay too. Don't feel any pressure. Andrea, how's Doggy doing since Jenny's passing? Honestly, I mean, okay. Flower had some moments where I could see she was sad, uh, which is part of the reason why we got Huckle, um, because she was very lonely. Jenny was here with Flower all day, every day, you know, even when she was healthy. And then when she got sick, even more so, and Flower just clung. So that's why we got Huckle. And I've seen an improvement in Flower. So thanks for asking. Teacups and roses, I've been wanting to mention. You probably know by now, they have pasta in Disneyland at the Plaza Inn and Pizza Planet. I do know. Pizza Planet has recently changed their vegan pasta to like a chow mein. It's pretty awesome. The Plaza Inn, I have not tried. Uh, but they have so many vegan options at Disneyland, it's hard to try it all. It's very a very friendly place for us, which is why we go so much. Micah, what were her first symptoms? Rib pain and shortness of breath, but rib pain was number one. Intense, intense rib pain. Denise, Kyle, are you getting enough sleep? Sometimes. It's day to day. Um, some days a lot of sleep. Some days no sleep. Some days right in the middle. I would say lately, though, it's been more so good night sleeps since we got the new bed. Jay Elmer, I can't imagine going to Disney as much as you do. Well, when you have a pass, you really feel like you want to go often. And, you know, it's a fun night out. It's very close. We don't have to pay to get in. We don't have to pay for parking. And we usually eat dinner and go on a couple rides. It's fun. So that's why we go so much. And it's just fun for all of us. What are you chewing now, son? What is it? No, thank you. No, thank you. Chewing everything. I need to get you your um, your treats. I'll get you one in a second. Shalia, that's a very good question. Do you get through a workday without crying? Sometimes. <laughs> I would say, like, in a five-day week, I cry three or four times out of the week at, at work. Um, I have Jenny all over my desk. It's like a shrine. And then I have her up. You know, I have things of hers on the side. I have a pretty nice desk set up. And um, yeah, sometimes I'll just be looking at it or whatever. She got me this coffee mug that says something sweetie on it. Um, there's just things that always remind me of her and moments where I would call her and I can't. Um, so yeah, I, I cry. It's sometimes it's a short cry. Sometimes it's a long one, but I can usually get away with it. Not doing it in front of the kids. <laughs> Kel bug 1962. I used to cry on my way to and from home from work every single day. Those are also my commute is only about a minute. <laughs> I'm very lucky, but, um, when a song comes on in the car or something, it usually hits me. Chris James, hello. Suzanne Bauer, grief is a long process. I am starting to figure that out because I'm only, what, three and a half, almost four months in since Jenny passed. Um, it's a crazy journey so far. Kathy, how long have you been vegan? This Thanksgiving will be... I went vegan in 2011. So what's that? 13 years? 14 years? I can't do math. Since 2011 on Thanksgiving of 2011. 
DJ, do the kids cry for her? Sometimes. Comes out in different things, different ways. Um, it kind of depends on the situation and what's going on. Odessa Reyes, do you ever dream of Jenny? I actually had one the other night. Um, if I could try to remember, it was very, very brief. But it was just normal Jenny, no cancer, and we were just doing normal things. And for a split second when I woke up, it felt like she was still here. And then I quickly remembered. So um, it was nice, though. Denise, you need alone time once in a while. Don't I know it? Absolutely. stinking lutely. Um, but, you know, I love being with my kids. I love spending time with them. And I do get some alone time with my Bible study group when I go to the gym. Um, at work, believe it or not. Um, so there's, there's time in there. Natasha sounds like she's saying she's okay. I feel like that too. She's doing okay. Rock steady 81. What's your favorite vegan restaurant? Crossroads in Los Angeles or Vegas? Crossroads, 100%. There's nothing better. Have you tried Loving Hut? I have. Not my favorite, but um, Loving Hut is like, a, I don't know what you call it, where they have the name, but then the restaurants serve different things, right? There used to be a Loving Hut in Claremont that Jenny and I loved. We'd go there on date nights, and that closed down. Other Loving Huts we've gone to, not as good. So, Autumn, as a future nurse, how can I best support cancer patients and their families? Just listen to them. And just treat them like a human, like you care for them. Treat them like one of your family members. Try not to treat them like a patient. And that's easier said than done. I'm not a nurse. I know your guys' schedule, if you are a nurse on here, is incredibly overwhelming. Um, but the nurses that connected with Jen and I were just simply just kind. And I can't tell you how many kind nurses we've encountered. Like, just kindness. It goes so far. So that's what I would say. Suzanne, I am a special education teacher. You got that right. Both of your boys are special needs and their teachers have been amazing. Well, that is good to hear. Um, great special ed teachers are so important in supporting these students that need the support. So I'm glad your boys have teachers that you trust and can count on. That's very good to hear. I love that. Debbie, hi, Kyle. Been you for a while. Been with you for a while. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you, Laura Lee, as well. I appreciate you guys saying that. Joanne Fonseca. The doctor told me Friday that I'm in remission. Well, great for you. Congratulations, celebrate, enjoy, revel in that moment. That's amazing to hear. Uh, Jenny never got to hear those words, remission. So really, really, truly so happy for you. So happy. Moshe, Moshi, Moshe. Your wife always had such an uncanny sense of humor. It's one thing I loved about her. She really did. Micah, do you guys ever go to the ocean? That is something we've been so lacking on. Literally horrible. Um, but we have plans to go. It's been a little cold and rainy, but like we haven't gone in so long. Um, I think part of the reason is because when Jenny was so sick, she couldn't go to the beach. Like there were like sanitation issues and stuff with all of her ports and drains and all that. But um, I think now we will once it gets a little warmer. Good question. Life of Nancy. Why couldn't Jenny get a lung transplant? Good question. Um, 
that's not very common um, in the first place. It'd have to be a perfect scenario. And two, um, when they found her cancer, some of the lymph nodes that were affected were really close to her major arteries and her heart. So they couldn't do surgery. It wasn't an option. They had to shrink um, and try to get it with radiation and chemo. That's all they could do. Crazy Chris, were you and Jenny both vegan when you guys met? No, <laughs> no, I was absolutely not. Uh, Jenny got me to go vegan. She introduced me to it, showed me some things, taught me all about it, and I went vegan. Not right away, but after a while of doing my own research. She never pressured me to. She said if either way, she'd be happy. Miss Donna, Jenny was always full of smiles. She really was. All the way to the end. Hi, Money Sports. Janessia Vargas, what's your favorite pizza? Great question. Um, it's called Pizza Nista. Pizza Nista. The only one I know of is where Jenny's best friend took me. It's in Pasadena. And they have the best vegan pizza on the face of this planet, or at least that I've tried. So, Pizza Nista, Pasadena. And they also have non-vegan pizza for anyone who does not want vegan food. So, it's great to take anybody. And thank you for the haircut comments. I appreciate it, honestly. Thank you. KR, do Ashley and her family eat vegan? They do not. Um, just me and my kids are the only ones vegan in our entire family. Um, I don't know who asked it, but do you think it mattered if they would have listened to Jenny at the beginning? I do, uh, because Jenny is really in tune with her body. And she was noticing a weird pain in her side way before she got the scan and was diagnosed. So I feel like we could have caught it earlier, but we never, Jenny and I never liked to go back and think about that because there's nothing you can do to change the past. No regrets. It's just, you know, it's what happened. Don, take the kids on a Disney cruise. 100% on my list. Yes. Katie C. Uh, today, your wedding video showed up on my recommended videos. Um, sorry, I got distracted. Um, I never linked it to the Valentine's video. I'm the worst. Um, I'll try to remember to do that. But yeah, go watch it if you can find it. It's cute. It's amazing. Deborah can't sleep. Me neither. La 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 la. LGO Lady Goldie T. I can't say your name. I'm sorry. Um, do your kids have a favorite Disney character? Uh, Winnie's is Minnie Mouse. She also likes um, Daisy. They like the classics. Ellis, not really. He's like, whatever. <laughs> Tori Borealis. Have you ever been to the Pixar Hotel? We have. That was the last hotel we stayed in before Jenny got sick. Like, really sick at the end. That's one of the trips that led us to believe that we were closer to the and then we want it to be. So sad memories at the Pixar Hotel, unfortunately, but it was an amazing place. Kim, how are Winnie's ears doing? Oh, yeah, and if you didn't see, on my Instagram I posted, Winnie busted open her ear at school the other day, so I had to pick her up um, 
take her to urgent care. They, she did not need stitches. She just needed um, a little glue and um, like some, I don't know what they're called, suture stitches. Um, and she's doing great. She keeps telling me though, like when I change her shirt for pajama time or whatever, daddy, be careful of my ear. Remember it is hurting. So she lets me know. Blanca, how's grieving group going? Is it helping? So Blanca, I mentioned in one of the last videos or maybe my last live that I don't go to the grief group anymore. Um, I kind of put that on hold to go to my Bible study group every week. Um, I could do both. It's not like I had to choose one. I just wanted to put my whole heart and soul into this group that I'm in now. And I didn't feel my whole heart and soul in the um, in the grief group, unfortunately. Um, just not right now. I couldn't. I couldn't. Stary strips. Thank you, Teacup Pug. Stary strips. Yes. Sweat. Oh, I lost it. Sweaty. Winnie is such a doll. She truly is. She's amazing. Um, Donna, they both look like Jenny a lot. I think so, too. Um, I really, really think they both look like their mom. <laughs> and she is a little princess. Deborah, a video popped up with Jenny pregnant showing outfits she bought. Yeah, that was one of the first videos she did on YouTube. It's pretty cute if you go back and look. That was in our first little apartment. Um, super cute. Autumn, has the cancer journey affected your faith? It has. It's made it stronger. 100%. Stronger, stronger, stronger. Maddie, is it difficult to maintain vegan veganism for the kids when they're at school or with friends? No. Um, if they ever hang out with friends, I use all the moms that they my kids hang out with, they know and they get them vegan food or cook them vegan food. If there's an event at school, I try to buy the same thing, um, kind of matching what everybody else is eating. So no. I wouldn't say. Janessia channel is beautifully run. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Alma, how do I feel when I see her videos? It's still really hard, to be honest. Um, still hard to see her. I miss her a lot. But it also feels good at the same time. Don't think about it. Much love. Have a good night. Anna, Annie, Anne Marie. Ellis melts my heart. Mine too. He's such a good big brother. Such a good kid. Rocksteady. Thank you for saying that Jenny and I are incredible humans. That's a bold uh, thing to say, but thank you. I really appreciate that. Mary, Mary, Bo Berry, finally catching you on your first live. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're here. Albus, is Ellis a Cub Scout? He is not. I have thought about Boy Scouts. I never did it as a kid, but um, I'm thinking about it. NB, NBS Realtor, what were all the carrots for your recent grocery run? <laughs> Um, I get on a kick sometimes of juicing. So we have a juicer and then the carrots are so cheap from where we get them. And you just, that's actually meant for horses, that bag. But you, um, I just put them in the juicer with some oranges or lemons. And then I drink carrot, orange, and lemon juice. Um, have I made any juice since I bought those carrots? <laughs> no, not one. So obviously I'm doing a great job there.
Margaret Hill, did radiation treatment make Jenny tired? Yes. Absolutely zonked her out. 100%. Tori, how do you feel after a live stream? I feel good. I feel like I was able to get, I get a lot off of my chest. I feel like I can talk, get some things that I've been thinking off my mind. It's nice. Honestly. Sylvia went to Bricks and Minifigs. Oh, Sylvia, after that is the best thing I've heard all day. Thank you for sharing. I hope you had an amazing time. Best store on the planet, Bricks and Minifigs. Thank you for sharing. Sylvia, great job. Real, real makeup fan. Well, thank you for joining for your first time. I appreciate you. Good night, Diana. Lori, I loved how Jenny just wanted you to be happy even at the end. She was so selfless. She truly was like all the way to the very end. So lucky to have met her, to have loved her. She's amazing. Keating Robinson, I think your channel provides and has provided a great service to so many. That was so kind. Thank you. Oh, I was going to ask this question because <clears throat> people have been bringing it up to me. I was thinking of keeping this channel more positive not positive but like vlogs and fun and my life and my fam i don't know people were asking me what i want to do with my channel because jenny did want me to have my channel too and i i had it and i started it and now it's kind of been put on hold because of taking over hers um i don't know maybe mine could be focused on grieving and like what i learned from my groups and some of the things that I'm taking with me so that, I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions on what the difference between the two channels can be, because Jenny did want me to keep two channels. If you have any suggestions, that would be great. So Cassandra thinks that's a good idea. Maybe have one grieving channel and one just our life channel. I don't know. That's not a bad idea, Suzanne. This channel could be family and then the other one could just be me. Um, it's not a bad idea. And Joyce said it's my call. And I think you are absolutely right, Joyce. Lace covered skies. How do you juggle YouTube with everything else going on in your life? It's absolutely hard. It really is. There's a lot that goes into each video and editing. And I've put out way less videos than Jenny ever did. She was an awesome editor. I could just knock it out. But it's hard, you know, when you get to the end of the day and, like, you're exhausted and you have to clean the kitchen and the living room and the house and do laundry and then edit a video and get it up. So it's a lot, but I know it's worth it. M. Duncan, I love it when you take us to Disneyland. Thank you for saying that because I still get a lot of people that do not like that. <laughs> but to those people, I say, you don't have to watch, right? Um, and then I'll... I make other videos about other stuff too. So it's okay. 
Heidi said, whatever I decide, we're here for it. Well, thank you, Heidi. I appreciate that. T. Vic, did you realize that the outcome could likely be from the start? You always put a brave face forward. Jenny and I just promised not to look up statistics and things. We just avoided it. So sure, in the back of your mind, her and I would always talk at night about the possibility of her dying at an earlier age than we would like. But it was never a front, my brave face. It was just I knew my wife needed it, and I needed it. And I dedicated, I still dedicate my life to taking care of her. Anything I can do to take care of her and the kids. Red like wine. I'd love if you share some vegan recipes. Okay. Come on live and cook. Wow, that is a, okay. Okay, maybe. I like that. Well, thanks, Rose. You like the Disneyland videos. I appreciate that. Poor Lena, you love the Disney videos. Thank you. I appreciate that because, you know, sometimes it doesn't get the most positive reviews. So thank you. Donna, you were really good at taking care of Jenny. Thank you. Um, all right, everybody wants cooking. Great. That's a lot of pressure. Not the best cook, but we can try for sure. <clears throat> Emotions make your cry make you cry sometimes. Will you ever do any wear awareness merchandise like band bracelets and pens with Jenny's name on them? Not a bad idea. Maybe. Christy, how are you managing being back at work? It's not terrible. Work has been great. Melissa, have you ever been to Australia? No, but I would love to. Are you kidding me? It looks beautiful. Jenny would be so mad that I'm doing this. I'm playing with my ring and I would just take it off sometimes. And she'd be like, dude, what are you doing? So it's back. It's back on. <laughs> Sometimes I just like messing with it. Miss Vince Monterio. Hi, Kyle from Joshua Tree. <clears throat> I've been wanting to go to Joshua Tree. So that's my sign that I need to do it. Um, Michelle, how do I read the questions? They move so fast. For me, they move slower and I can slow them down on my end. So I'm not a super man. It's just, um, it's yeah. moon mumsy seven. Is that a new tattoo? The only one that's new is this guy right here. This little Disney guy. This ladybug is fairly new. And then you guys have known this one, the Jenny one, and then everything else has been there for a while. Tonda H, will you be off for the summer to take care of the kids? Absolutely stinking Uh, One of the amazing perks about being a teacher is you get to have the summers off with them. Um, and I do not work summer school. I have the option to, but I won't. And we have um, hopefully some trips planned and just family time. Wow. 
Danielle, Oregon this summer. You know it. We will be there. Um, the barking is always flower. It's never Huckle. Huckle barely barks. Busy Bumblebee, are you going camping this summer? Stay tuned, but yes. Victoria, what was Jenny's cause of death at the end? Um, I think the LMD was, that was the, um, the main thing that took her at the end. And then she did have a pulmonary embolism at the end. Um, and, you know, blood clot in her lungs. Um, but the LMD did take a, a heavy toll, um, on her body. Deborah, who chose the name flower for your dog? That was Ellis. Michelle, what is LMD? I'm going to get it wrong, so you might want to Google it, but I think it's called leptomeningeal disease, and it's basically when there's cancerous fluid surrounding the brain. Um, there's not much they can do to treat that, so it usually gets into your spine, travels everywhere. She did the, the radiation to try to combat that, and it did do its job, but, you know, shortly after that, you know, she passed. Treater Cannon, how hard has it been to start think or having time to think about yourself? Pretty hard. <laughs> um, I know you have to make that time. It's important. But, um, you know, it's um, right now it's all about the kids and the house. And, you know, my time comes, though. I definitely get some alone time going to the gym, working out um, at work. Um, Bible study. I get the time. I get time. Nadler's kid. Yeah, if you Google LMD, we did when Jenny got it. The results or the um, statistics are pretty, pretty, pretty bad. So when we got that diagnosis, I remember that day. That's the same day we got the news that Jenny was going to die. That she indeed was given a timeline of about six to nine months. And I think she made it three months <clears throat> after that. So, yeah. Uh, LMD is, is, uh, is a rough one, unfortunately. Um, but we did meet someone with LMD who I pray is still going strong. She was a big-time fighter. She was still going after a year of being diagnosed with LMD. So there is hope if you ever get diagnosed with it, but it it's, it's a rough one. The Ange Endeavor, Ange and Ang Endeavor. Have you considered a bird bath for Jenny's rock garden? Uh, no, but I am now. It's a great idea. I like that. Nina Beverly, have you? Yeah, I've tried. Have I decorated the house since Jenny passed? I have added a few things. Um, not much, but little pieces of art, a mirror over here, a new plant, a couple new plants. Um, I added a lamp. <laughs> it's really weird buying things without your wife. Um, I don't love it, but there's just some things that 
I've wanted to, to buy. We have a hummingbird feeder. We have bird feeders all around the house. Jenny asked for them when she came home on hospice. So we have a lot of those. We get birds galore. We just don't have a bird bath. Um, yeah, Ellis plays this piano behind me. I play it occasionally. Nothing crazy. Lee Ann, do you have any desire to move out of the house? No. At least not now, anyway. Jocelyn James, do you have any more tattoos in the works? I do. I have at least one for sure coming up. I have a big one that I want in the summertime. Um, so, yeah, there's some coming. Okay, we went a little bit over an hour. So, thank you for your time. Thank you for your conversation. Thank you for your positivity. Thank you for watching. Be on the lookout for a video tonight. I'm posting a video about my lack of sleep and what I do when I can't sleep, um, if you're interested. But um, I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, I know my wife does. And um, we love you guys. Thank you for the rocks, for the support, for the letters, for the positive comments, for the prayers, for the love. Am I missing anything? For the kindness, for the generosity, for the sympathy. Um, I don't know. Just thank, thank you guys for everything. Um, and, um, we will see you soon and there will be a video uploaded tonight. So please be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys for everything. Oh. <laughs>